Hi everyone, alrighty, so you're obviously here to see me put in an intake right here on my 05 Summer Grand Prix. Obviously, mine's an 05, but it should apply to any of the similar ones. I didn't go with any of the kind of box style ones, you know, the ones that are kind of full shielded here. Just a regular standard intake we're going to look at putting in. So, I'll show you guys some of the ins and outs and just give you some tips on putting it in, in itself. Uh, so, let's just go in here, give the car a rev, because obviously, we're going to want to do an audio comparison as well. So, So you can hear that's the car as it sounds right now. So obviously we're gonna have to go in and take off now. The one I bought here, obviously, you wanna keep your mass airflow sensor so it's from here back, you just take out your air box. Obviously you gotta take this off here. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Take off one, two, three bolts, not terribly hard to take off. Uh, once you get that off, we'll go to air box. little thing to point out to you guys, as you see I'm already pulling this off here. You just did those two bolts which come off right here. You'll see some gunk, so you may wanna clean that up. Doesn't hurt to clean it up anyways, get some of this corrosion and stuff on here, but be careful because as it does wear out and you get all this grease, the grease can actually eat through the metal and then you start cleaning it up or anything, it actually can take off some of the finish. So just be careful of cleaning that up. And of course, you see I've taken off the bolt from up here. There you go. One thing, the little thing to point out is you got this here, which clamps in, just holding this cable here. So just keep in mind that when you pull that out, oh, this is just in case you guys are wondering is why this is just for my alarm to hook in. Um, anyways, this here, just make sure when you pull it out, you be gentle, get a, a flathead, and just pull that right out, and it'll come out no problem. That's uh, one of those standard kind of, you know, rigid plugs, so, um, or ribbed plugs, so just pull that out. And once you get that out, you can take the bar, get out of the way, other than leaving this, it will kind of get in your way. Uh, but we're going to go and pull that out. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to pull the box out. And I'll I have everything off here now. I've taken off the bar as you just saw. Now, taking off the filter here so far, before I get into some of the issues that we have thusly, <clears throat> um, taking this part was done in basically um, two or three steps. So the first part is I took off was the front over here, which is this part right here. It's just, as you can see, two bolts that hold it on. That mounts right there. So I had unbolted those two and I unclipped it. If you guys uh, go back in the video, but you'll see that's cl uh, clamped on. That's what holds the air filter in. So I had taken that off. And then we got to the second part, which is here, which is where the air filter, as you can see, my kind of dirty, kind of clean air filter was sitting right in here. And so I just popped that out and then got access to in here. Once I got access to this, there's two screws, as you can see, all right over there, that hold it right into this part over here. One and two. I took that off, boom, now we have access to here. But there's one little thing I didn't realize by myself, was that there is this uh, kind of uh, ECU module over here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. You can see there's some clips that hold it on. And I'm going to try and remount it right back under. I'm going to take a look at what's underneath and see how I can maybe zip tie it or something. I also want to make sure it's kind of protected from the elements. Um, obviously in here it does get exposure to elements as you can see it is dirty. But um, I imagine it doesn't get ac much access to water and things like that which could be a little bit of an issue up here in the cabin. So I'm going to do that now and I'll come back to you in a moment and see how that works out. Uh, but as you can see so far that was easy. I don't want to take a couple minutes. Just pop that off the two bolts. Take that piece out when you unclamp it, take out the air filter, take out the secondary piece, and now we gotta look at that. Catch me in a sec. You see? Boom, it's out. It was actually fairly easy to pull that out of there, as you can see. First thing I did is I, I just popped this first. So you'll see there's some clips in here. Two in the back, one here, something here that's not a clip, it's just more of like a spacer to hold it in place, and this one. All I did was pop this out. As soon as I popped it out, the ECO kind of went up a little bit. I grabbed it. Slid it right out, which is right there now sitting. I haven't secured it yet or anything, but it's there. Now once I did that, on the back of this, there's only these two kind of plugs that hold it in here. And really, didn't have to do anything. Just grab it, kind of pull a little. Uh, don't be scared to give it a little bit of strength if you need to. And pop, pop it right out. That thing is out now. So what I'm going to look at doing now, though, is clean up in here a bit as I have it out. Might as well clean it up a bit. And um, at the same time, I'm going to see how I can secure that EC before we put the new air intake in. And then from there, we'll see, we'll get into intake, make sure it's secure appropriately, and then we'll go from there. So catch me in a second, we'll take a look at that. right now on the next thing I've done. A couple of things to note it. Now, on uh, this spacer here with the, the mass airflow, look at this mass airflow. <clears throat> There's this rubber seal that goes on for the actual stock air filter. I just had to pull that off. You'll need to pull that off to make the new, here, I'll show you guys, let me grab it here. This will be the new piece that'll go on. Now, if you look inside, you'll see it's not quite a flush seal. There is a little room to play. 
but when you use this obviously you just secure that tightly that should secure it right on good to go if you don't take that seal you will not have enough space to get that on so make sure the seal looks like it's actually kind of you know stuck on but it's not it just slide it right off no good to go also ECU, uh, ECU issue here that's over here uh, as you can see it's uh, secured in I've secured it with some tie downs over here one two I'm just gonna get some uh, material that I'm gonna put under here just to make sure it prevents it from a little rattle across these ridges here there's some holes that are right there so they're perfect for you know using the tie downs You're good to go I am of course a little concerned with some of the exposure to water elements coming up through the engine bay up here so I will be modifying me and only my photo Tony uh, make sure to check out his channel too we will be modifying um, this out so that way we can actually uh, maybe put some kind of shielding or something here we're gonna find something we can mod in the future to just kind of put over here to prevent water from splashing up into the, into here. I think it'll be fine. There is so, it was some exposure to elements when it used to come through over on this side, uh, but not as much as what you may get coming through there. And of course, that's gonna be a priority. So if you guys are starting on this, it's not gonna be just something as easy. They do sell um, intake systems that you can buy that come with a shielded unit that you can actually install right in here. So obviously that would fix that issue. Imagine that fits inside in some way. Um, however, in the case where this one is just a standard intake, um, and this is kind of exposed to the elements, you're going to want to protect it. And I would say before you get started on this project, make sure you put something here that you can shield it from the elements. I don't think it would be too much of an issue, but better safe than sorry. So I'm going to make sure I take care of that. So next up, I'm going to put the intake in, which should be just a couple quick steps. I'll be right back to show you what that's about. Alright guys, so I have it in here, but i got to go through a couple things with you. As you can see, it's in, it's looking good, it's looking nice, I've secured it in. Now, when I had put this in, obviously, you put your, you know, your rubber flange, you know, you put your clamp on. And then I, then I actually went and I put the, the metal uh, flask right here, the, uh, the metal tubing, and I put it into the air filter first, secured it on. Once that's done, make sure you put your bracket on here first, slip the tubing in, put it on, and away you go. But I did notice once you did that, there was far, far, far too much play with this. Like, I mean, it could you could literally take it and move it all the way to the rad hose, or move it all the way over here. And of course, if you're driving around, it's gonna be moving too much and it's gonna slip off or damage or get into some, something that it really shouldn't. So, what do we do? Well, I fab the bracket right over here. You can see it's a metal bracket. I've self-tapped it right into here. And then this was a straight bracket that went up. So I used, um, you know, my, my clamp and I bent it over. And then I bent it over here, and then I bent, I had a little bit extra, so I bent it over here to hold it, and then I, I, I uh, secured it on. Not, of course, as quote unquote nice or beautiful as I would like it, but from far away, you don't really tell. And of course, it's secured it on, so now there's a little bit of play as there should be. There should be a little bit of play, but nothing you gotta worry about. You don't have to worry about banging the ECU, hitting the rat hose, uh, moving around and getting loose over time and falling in there, anything like that. And that seemed to work all right. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a final cleanup on everything here. We can start it up. All right, guys, there you have it. So you can see the intake is in. Everything is running smoothly. Everything is looking good. It looks like it's running a little bit smoother even even than uh, than the old one. Uh, as you can see, everything is bolted in. I have everything secured. I've re-put in the the, uh, the cross member over here. So we're gonna give it a, a quick rev right now. As you can see it's sounding really nice, really good. You can hear the air trying to suck in here. I'm gonna be test driving in a little bit. So we're gonna give that a go. One more rev. You can see what we have. So guys, this is installing the intake um, on your 2005 to 2008 uh, Grand Prix. Um, of course, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section before. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will have other videos, including other cars. If, if you guys uh, uh, have any cars, I've got a couple uh, access to a few. Let me know or I'll give you tips. Don't forget, any questions you have, make sure to comment. Make sure to sub. Let me know what you guys like, and we'll go from there. All right, guys? This is Nexus for TMPG. Take care and have a good one.